flat performance today, flat performance yesterday, but far better than what we see coming through in, in It's more Europe. of like a schizophrenic performance. Uh, we hit 33,000 points twice in the day and, and came off almost immediately as well. So very, very volatile markets. I think very, very sensitive markets having a look uh, towards uh, Europe and the uh, decisions that are being made there. Um, that's where markets or world markets are taking their cue from. So when we had a bit of a decrease in the um, interest rates in Europe and we had better than expected job data out of America, we had a very positive market up to 33,000 points. And then a little while later, we had the ECB president speaking a little bit more about his thoughts regarding the solution in Europe. And it wasn't what the markets wanted mm. to hear. Because everyone wanted to hear Everybody bond wanted bond purchasing uh, in order to get those bond yields yeah. down in the more affected countries. And we didn't see that initially and uh, markets sold off again. So in general, very, very sensitive markets, very difficult. So the market is also saying that a quarter of a percent cuts on the interest rate front is not going to do very much to allay fears of a slowdown in the I think, I think I think that's what was expected. Um, I, I, I would look towards this, this, this very important meeting that is going to start tomorrow and uh, solutions hopefully being made there. Mm -hmm. uh, as a South African, we'll only really find out what those solutions are on Monday. So it'll be an interesting weekend. And I think what the markets are looking towards is some sort of a concrete solution or at least some sort of an agreement amongst EU leaders actually coming to fruition now um, regarding, regarding the markets. And there we're looking at um, some kind of uh, agreement with regards to um, fiscal policy. Yeah. Um, amongst EU uh, members. Well, looking at how the South African markets traded today, we have Harmony at the bottom of the top 40. No surprise because of that gold price, the fluctuation that we saw from yesterday, down almost 4%. ArcelorMittal, which was up 1% yesterday, is down 2% today. APSA also shedding ground down 1.5%. And pretty much a mixed sort of bag at the bottom Nothing of the really top 40. Nothing really stood out today. Yeah. I mean, uh, what I picked up on were, was really good movements in some of your top resource companies and then within a matter of moments after some news releases this late afternoon markets just sold off again. I think technically 33,000 points amongst most people's minds is a resistance level. You know, the markets have struggled for quite a few years now. I mean, it was a high that we saw, um, you know, before the markets dropped after the liquidity crisis. We're now again at that level and there's a European crisis. So I think markets psychologically are struggling to break above that level. I think everyone's very cautious. No one wants to commit to these markets at the moment until we get some more news out of that meeting tomorrow. Willys is up 2.5%, uh, Aspen gaining 2%, Exara, which had a very bad day, day yesterday, is up around 2%. Well, that's some good points there. I think uh, maybe a little bit of flight to safety, you know, um, you know pharmaceuticals, food producers, food sellers, that kind of area. Exara, we had fantastic retail sales numbers out Exactly. Look, so I mean, the, re the, re the retail numbers. sector of the South African economy is doing incredibly well, and we've seen that in some of the share price movements of Willys and Mr. Price and, and all the others. Um, Exara did come off heavily yesterday. Um, there was a little bit of announcement with regards to one of the empowerment deals reaching its end. That was Empower. Um, you know, there was a little bit of consternation there with regards to how much volume was going through in the market. But that was a little bit oversold on um, a very negative closing market yesterday and I think just a bit of an uptick there. With regards to ShopRite, because it also has another bad day today, down around 7 tenths of a percent. It was down also yesterday, but it's looking toppish on the share price fronts. It's sitting at around 130. Look, I think ShopRite's just strand. blown everybody away. I mean, that stock up 40 percent in a matter of no time where others have lagged. And I think just getting to a case now, is there more expected and are there better deals out there? So maybe just a little bit of profit taking possibly in this kind of environment, locking in those short term profits and just some downside there in the short term. But nothing to be serious about. I don't think that share price is going to collapse anytime soon. I think more upward momentum expected from ShopRite. And with regards to the overall resource base, it's, it's really a tale of two worlds because you've got resources, or the, the resource base, you've got gold uh, coming under pressure, platinum also coming under pressure and then suddenly gaining ground and then fluctuations with the local currency, it seems that we can find uh, quite a few trends that emanate from what the resources are doing and then the local currency, but there's just so much volatility, so it's difficult to read into. Absolutely. I mean, uh, you don't really know on a day-to-day -day basis how to, um, you know, look at things and, 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 and judge things correctly. So, um, you know, gold stocks shooting through the roof thanks to the uh, RAND um, devaluing and uh, as well as the gold price. But again, very volatile. They can come off tremendously. So I mean, I'm a bit wary of, of trading with the gold stocks, but I still think if you're sticking with your other resource companies that specialize in iron ore, coal and copper, it's a little bit of a safer haven at the moment. So what is your holiday play? My holiday play? I'm not <laughs> going on holiday, so I don't have one. <laughs> I'm sticking in the office. My play is Exoro. Um, I really thought that yesterday was a very good opportunity on weakness to get into that stock. I think, in my opinion, coal is the next platinum, so that will be my holiday play at the moment. I think Exoro at the early 170s is a good buy.